Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the permanent and imposed action on the girder B2. So I'll just show you where we're at now. In the previous video we found the UDLs in B1, the joists. Now we're looking at finding the loading in B2, this central girder over here. So I'm just going to draw, it's always good to draw a little diagram to get your head around what's going on. So what I've drawn here is just the girder B2. So this central girder is B2 and all these all these um, beams here, the B1 joists, okay? So I just want you to understand what's actually happening. Now, this entire length of beam has been loaded. We've seen, we've worked out in the previous video, B1, but the only amount transferring into the girder is gonna be what I've drawn in red, right? So nine meters of this joist will be transferring into this girder over here. The reason is, is because this part, that part, that part, that part, that part is going to be taken by the exterior girders, all right? So the exterior girders are going to take the black and the interior girder will be able to take this amount of length of B1, the joist. And then we also have the girder B2, its own self weight, okay? Now, because it's nine meters and nine meters there, we can divide this by two, so we're going to have 4.5 going that way and 4.5 going that way, which gives us a total of 9 meters. The length of this girder is 12 meters. So the first thing we're going to do is find the permanent actions G, the dead load, in the girder. So the permanent action in the girder is the permanent action from three joists, so these three joists above, plus the self-weight of the actual girder. Okay, so I can hope you realize that maybe now you're understanding that you can see this load pattern occurring. We first found the loading in the slab that was transferred into the joists, and now these the loading in the joists is transferred to the beam. All right, so I hope that sort of makes sense. We went from area, a slab, to joists, and now this these joists are are going into this girder over there. Okay, so the permanent action from the three times joist B1 we found in the previous video that the UDL was 16